Conservation practices can improve a variety of landscape features for both livestock and wildlife, such as open grasslands, riparian areas, and forested areas. I'm Tim Copeman, a fourth generation livestock producer in Sonol, California. We own about 900 acres here. Uh, it was bought in 1918 by my grandfather and uh, great uncle. We run uh, about 150 mother cows. Basically, it's bigger than a hobby and smaller than a living. Uh, we have an abundance of wildlife species, uh, avian species, birds, uh, mammals, as well as reptiles and, uh, and amphibians that we're, we're taking a great deal of pride in what we've got out here. Today we're out looking at Tim Coatman's livestock pond for um, taking an inventory of what's actually in the pond. Tim's Ranch is a really great ranch um, for wildlife habitat. Through the development and repair of some of the stock ponds we've had, we've been able to uh, provide stronger, better habitat for the California tiger salamander, which is an endangered species both federally and at the state level. Uh, one of the breeding ponds that we've got for the California tiger salamander, we've managed that with a specific grazing program to make sure that we maintain the right size and height of vegetation going away from the pond so that ingress and egress of the little guys when they move out after breeding that can successfully get through, uh, through the thatch and through the grass without being uh, prey bait for, for birds and other species. Not only do the aquatic features on the ranch provide good habitat for the wildlife, also the upland areas, the grassland areas provide excellent wildlife habitat. Well, to me, wildlife habitat is an indicator of the successful way that you're managing the ranch. So anything that you can do to get some help from the NRCS folks is going to help not only the wildlife, but probably your economic base and your function as well. On a ranch like Tim's, the primary forage here is non-native annual grasslands. And since that isn't our native vegetation, it has to have a certain amount of management to maintain as much of a diversity of habitat as possible for a variety of, of benefits to both the species, to his livestock, and fire suppression if you have that much of, of vegetation on your property. Uh, there's a lot of benefits to keeping livestock on annual grasslands in an area like this. We've developed a conservation plan with the Natural Resource Conservation Service in conjunction with the local resource conservation district. And in that conservation plan, we determined that there were some locations where we could add additional water supplies in the uplands areas and enhance our, our usability of the ranch itself. We see deer using those troughs. We see a variety of animals using those troughs. And the birds really like the trough. In that regard, we did put escape ramps and walk down ramps into every one of our water troughs so the birds can successfully go down, get a drink, and safely walk back out. Your local NRCS field office offers farmers and ranchers technical assistance for developing a dynamic and individualized conservation plan regardless of the size of your property. We work with ranchers in our area that are you know, 5,000 acre ranches down to three acre ranches. They also have some funding sources that we were able to use uh, through EQIP, the Environmental Quality Incentive Program. If you would like more information on wildlife habitat on rangeland, or other conservation practices, contact the district conservationist at your local NRCS office or visit our website.